Hey guys, in this video, we're doing sheeting, we're going to be doing shingling, and I'm going to be building an upper wall. So make sure you stay tuned. Howdy guys, welcome to the cave. I'm Mark, and you're watching Blue Street Customs. Hey guys, welcome back. Well, still at it. We got a bunch more sheets up and uh, started the uh, overhang over here. We also got this end all cut so it's nice and even all the way across. I'll show you that in a second. Started the uh, fascia board there. We stripped part of the roof over here on the trailer. Can't see. I'm not going to go up there. Dad's up there right now. Um, he's shingling up this section here so that we can start our California and we can start our shingles along here so that we can shingle this first. All right. We got the satellite off, but you can see that we've got the fascia board on. Now we're going to come along and cut all these little tips off all the way along so they're nice and flush with the uh, bottom of the fascia board. So that there, we got that overhang done. So what I'm going to start doing now is uh, I'm going to use a table saw and I'm going to start ripping up a bunch of this lumber so that I can start building my two foot wall that goes across here so that we can start putting our ceiling rafters across, even though it'd be nice to have a vaulted ceiling, but it costs a lot more to heat. So we're going to just make it 11 foot. So I got to build a wall across here, all the way across, and then there's going to be an inside gable here that will be covered, you know, to match the inside wall. And then across the top of that wall, I'm going to have to build a two foot wall as well. And again, that'll stop just above the, uh, the ceiling. So that's where we're at right now. Because I'm running the table saw, uh, I'm not going to put a time lapse, just too noisy. There's no point in watching me do that. So I'm going to get that done. And when I clean up a spot so I can start building the wall, I'm going to clear up some area here, move my benches over so that I can start cutting up and start building my upper wall. Then probably pull that brace down. I just don't need it. And that one will probably come down as well. Uh, that piece is going across. That can come down after. And then, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to order up some more wood and uh, so that we can go from rafter to the top of the wall and then from rafter to the top of the wall and that'll be my ceiling joist. So uh, I will uh, come back and show you what I've got when I'm done ripping up stuff and got the floor cleaned up. So make sure that uh, you like, share and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you can get notified when I post videos. Leave some comments down below and I'll see you in a bit. Oh okay, yeah guys, here we go. So, as you can see, the staging's up here. We're getting the uh, sheeting across. We've got all this shingled all the way up. We got where it meets the roof here. And we started going across the front. Sorry for the wind. Starting to put up flashing here. Now we're going to continue on this side. Got this side going up. We'll start filling in here. We're going to relocate this vent. So I will uh, come back with an update and go from there. Hey guys. Hey, okay, so another day here. And uh, sorry about the wind because it's freaking deadly windy out here today. And uh, I kind of mean deadly windy because with this high wind and trying to put sheets up here, it's pretty crazy. But anyways, we've got this sheeted across to there. Another row, so we'll finish nailing that one down. Um, <clears throat> then we'll start another one here. We've got shingles up this far. The reason we've got shingles here now and it's not done sheeted is because we were trying to protect this roof. But we got this section of the roof done. And we got part of this side done. And the reason we did that is so that it's easier to shingle under here while this was still open. 
So we got it done up to this point here. Now this is covered because it's not done shingling. So we got a few sheets on this side because we're going to do the same thing. We're going to tear this side off, shingle this quick, put this piece of sheeting down. We're going to, uh, I've got the pieces for the vent, so we're going to take the vent and bring it up higher and then come through the roof. And then we'll put our sheeting on, bring these shingles up on it, and shingle this side. Now we got new rubber boots for that one, we got new rubber boots for this one. And we'll go from there. Straighten all this stuff out, string, put a chalk line, cut these tails, put everything where they need to be, and we're good to go. So, because it's windy, I'm not going to film too much, because the wind will just take the camera down. So, I will be back when I've got more. Okay guys, end of day four, it's cold, the wind has not stopped at all. Sun's going down, maybe half, an, about a half an hour left of light. So, we're calling it a day. So, we're uh, halfway sheeted up this side. And starting a good chunk on this side. Now, we're kind of doing this oddly because of what we have to do. And working in between rain showers and stuff. So, we're trying to get things covered while shingling the trailer. And the style of roofing that we're doing. I'll show you in a minute, but we got that whole side of the house shingled and it runs up on top of my roof, okay? Then we started shingling the bottom here as far up as we got to tonight and that's so that the rain, if it happens to rain, there's a lot less chance that it's going to leak inside the house. So this is why we're doing it this way. Normally, if you have a crew, you'd be doing things a little differently. You know, if we had scaffolds and equipment, you know, things like that. We're very limited, so we're working as safely as we can. So, I will go up on the roof and I will show you uh, where we're at. Okay, again, sorry for the wind here. But, if you remember in some of the episodes, what we had here for shingles, that whole stack is gone, all three rows. This one, we've got a good chunk out of already. Those ones back there will probably end up returning, but that's what we got. And we built this, this uh, dolly chute, we built that. So one guy up top, he pulls up the shingles, and one guy on the bottom loads the shingles onto that dolly, and we pull it up a little bit at a time, just because they're broken bundles. Normally they're all sealed and easy to, uh, to pull up or carry up in a sense but since we're doing it this way they're hard to carry and uh, it's a real pain in the ass going up and down the ladder all the time so let me go up on the roof and I'll show you okay again windy but I'm trying here so sorry if it's too noisy but we got this far and like I said it was more because we're trying to protect the house didn't want it leaking and stuff and with it raining off and on lot Yesterday and last night rained real good. This here prevents rain getting in behind the shingles, coming down and leaking inside. So we're just, uh, we finished it right over the roof here. Uh, so tomorrow we'll continue on over there, continue up doing with the sheets using our roof jacks. Now we came across the front, showed that a little earlier. We got some uh, flashing up. So when we're done, I'll f tomorrow I'll be filling in the rest of this side here. I'm going to leave that side open so we can continue passing sheets through to do the rest of the sheeting on the roof. So that's where we're at on that. When we're done, I'll tar up all the nails, make sure everything's sealed. This one's done up to here. It's open underneath. That's why there's a sheet here in case it rains. But today, we got this whole side stripped shingled and now we're starting to go up this side we had to relocate that vent remember it was down here so now that's relocated there new rubber boot that one's got a new rubber boot so we sheet it up just far enough so that we can get these shingles going up help protect water from going down inside tomorrow dad is saying that uh, we're probably going to punch a hole through the wall and put the door in and then hopefully by monday we'll have all the windows in 
um, maybe this door here, uh, fully sheeted and shingled, hopefully, weather permitting. Um, let's see what else. Yeah, we got the, uh, the uh, electrical mast all tarred up, so that's sealed. My truck down there, of course, doing the work, do, throwing all the uh, garbage shingles in. And trust me, I mean garbage shingles. This here should have been done five years ago, minimum, but I wasn't here. Now I'm taking care of things. So this will be one of the next things that we'll have to deal with. Uh, hopefully we can get up this tin flashing around the chimney and reuse it. If not, we'll have to buy a new one. <laughs> Trying not to spend too much money, but if we have to, we have to. And then of course, once everything's done, we'll uh, fix all the rain gutters properly. We're also bringing the shingles out a little further so that the rain actually goes in the rain gutter and not through the gap between the fascia and the rain gutter because really the rain gutters aren't doing anything right now. So that's where we're at. And like I said, that's how we get our shingles up here. One guy puts them on down there, one guy pulling them up. So until tomorrow, um, well, it's going to be a few hours for me, but I'll be back. Hey guys. Well, as you can see, this whole side is sheeted. Dad's up there shingling right now. So we're doing pretty good. And one other thing, we now have a hole. So I've been working on this, framing it in. I got to cut it a little bit higher here so that uh, my door fits at the right height. Now we're going with an old fashioned door. It's going to swing inwards that way. So I'm going to took this stud out here. You can see there's one here that's missing. I took that one out. I'm going to move it over a little bit so it's in in line with this and we're going to cap it all the way across of course i got to go up higher and this one is cut to the right spot so i got to put a two by four in here so that uh, it's solid again now because there was a plug right there i had to disconnect the plug i got to clean up the edge here a little bit but i'm going to open up the wall on this side I'm going to open this up and probably relocate the plug right here in this corner away from the door so it'd be you know somewhere right about here and then we'll I'll run a wire up and then over top of the door and back down I'm going to put a switch right here and that will be tied in later for a hallway light or something in here we'll see how it goes but reason main reason we're doing that is so that I can tie this wire back into it because this wire was tied in with the plug and this wire continues the power to a plug over there a plug back there and a plug right there and uh, yeah well stepson kind of wants his game back so right now the living room has no power so I'm trying to get this done before tonight so I will uh, get going on this and uh, we'll show you what we've got once we've got the door hung up and uh, all filled in. So we'll see you in a bit. Hey guys. Okay, so here's where we're at. Now we're getting quite a bit done and uh, had to order a few more sheets, only five more. Also ordered my ceiling rafters, which will go on top of that wall. Remember we said we had to build an extra two feet up so the rafters will, that the ceiling rafters will sit on top of that. And go across. Some of the other things we got done is we started putting windows in. So we got one window there. Yes, do that one probably today. Now, of course, you can see we've been making quite the mess around here. And that's from the thickness planer and the jointer. And reason for that is dad, I cut the hole, we put the door in. And dad went and built, hand built, door frame the door jam I should say actually so that's all in now that's only temporary because we have family coming over for Thanksgiving tomorrow I got to put a stud right here going up and same thing on this side put another stud right there going up now this door will eventually be put 
on this side, all right, so that when it opens, it swings against this wall. All right, and then we'll cap everything nice and neat. But because family's coming tomorrow for Thanksgiving, we just put that in there for now. Now, something else we did, you kind of notice we got a plug in the wall, which means we got a plug down here. Dad went and installed the panel. Now, this is just the start of it. Trust me, there's a lot more. Pre ran a wire over here for an outside plug. That'll be outside, of course. I had to go underneath the house to run this wire. So we punched a hole through the floor, went inside, went all the way along underneath, and came back up where the other panel is on the inside of the house. So that's where the power actually comes in from outside, right up there. So there's a panel in there. So I had to run that wire to put in a sub panel and that's where that's at. So we're actually starting to get power in here as well. So today we're hoping, especially if the wind dies down a little bit, that we're gonna start putting the rest of these sheets up on this side and start shingling. We'll be missing a couple of sheets that we're gonna need. I got a couple here and a bunch there, but those Obviously, we're going to fill this in. That's why I ordered five more. And uh, those won't show up till probably Tuesday. And I believe Tuesday is, what, the 13th? Yeah, something like that. So we've got to kind of wait for that. Same thing with these uh, 2 by 4 10 foots for the rafters, the ceiling rafters. Those will show up hopefully Tuesday as well. So I'm going to go up top here. I'm sorry for the wind. I'll show you what we've got for... The shingles and all that stuff done. Now we're not doing anything in here because that's in a cold zone and it's under the roof. There's going to be another wall right on top of here that'll close off that side. Again, sorry for the wind, but as you can see, we still have to strip this side, which will get done uh, probably maybe start on it today. I don't know. Most likely Tuesday or Wednesday, we'll finish off this side. This side's been done all the way up to here. We've got the new rubber boot. That one's got the new rubber boot. So we're going to put a chalk line across there. Like I said before, put a chalk line across, cut all those nice and even. Nail them down to the top of the wall, finish the sheeting as far as we can anyways, continue shingling, which means I'm going to have to bring up more shingles because that's all we've got up here so far but from this piece of plywood like you can see we've got to strip this under here it's bare that's why the plywood's here so it can't drip inside and this here is all done showed you that already the flashing is done on this point this side is all done we got to finish taking those roof jacks off and of course, while we haven't done ridge cap, we'll do that once the other side is done. This is all she shingled on this side. We did the California Valley. And the way they do that is you take these shingles here and you run them up part way. And then you shingle this side and make a nice straight line. All right? And of course, well, like I said, we've got a window in already there. We started taking some of these plankings down. Uh, we've got a few more tails to cut off just under the rafter. You can see this one's cut. We got that piece cut and that piece of sheeting cut. So those will go in. But yeah, just a few more tails to finish cutting off. A bunch over there are cut off already. It rained last night, so we're trying to let things dry up a little bit before we come back out here. And that's where we're at so far. Now, a bunch of branches have been pissing us off, so we're kind of cut them off they're down there now they were up here we're gonna try and cut a few more off while we can reach them and then of course we're gonna cut some off on the other side once we get up there so that's where we're at right now we gotta clean up outside a little bit there's some insulation in there and things like that that i gotta clean up that came from where the door was um like i said we're just kind of doing up some stuff because family's coming tomorrow tomorrow afternoon uh, we got this piece of 
face should have put uh, put on not a big deal uh we'll shingle well i don't know if we'll get to that yet but anyways i think today's goal is to continue the sheeting up here and start shingling everything or continue shingling um and when that other stuff shows up like i said hopefully tuesday we can start putting the ceiling rafters in across We'll continue. I got more boards there. We're going to cut up some more and continue along here. And of course, we're going to have to build on top of this wall as well. And then we can start putting the roof rack, the ceiling rafters in. Um, I don't know if you can see there some blue dots. We have blue dots all over the place. Some over there. Can't see those ones. But anyways, they started marking out where plugs and stuff for going there's going to be a wood stove right there so i'm putting a plug up top so i can get a wall mounted ceiling fan that'll or a wall, a wall mounted fan to help blow heat around there'll also be a ceiling fan up here uh, to help blow heat back down those there there's going to be a tv and stuff mounted on the wall along with you know a small shelf for the cable box things like that so there's all kinds of plugs right there uh this will be a bedroom on this side so there's going to be you know plugs on that side and plugs on this side of the bed a couple plugs in this wall on this side and a couple plugs on this side so far uh today one of my things i'm going to do is figure out how my uh spray booth for my airbrush and that's going to be so we can frame in that window and how high and wide my counter is going to be because remember half of it's stationary half of it's going to be movable so I can move it into the center of the room and walk all the way around it. So i got to figure out where the plugs are going there. That corner is probably going to be all my electronics for doing my soldering and stuff like that. So I'll need plugs over there. And then somewhere over here is going to be my computer and stuff for video editing videos. So I need plugs over here for my computer. And then figure out what I'm going to do for lighting. Now I'm planning on LED lighting. So... I'm going to have a, uh, not power, yeah, power inverter, no power converter, convert it from AC to DC. So I'll have power converters, which I'll need AC power coming out into those boxes to run LED lighting. Other than that, uh, outside light right there and a couple of switches there for a hallway light. So that's where we're at. Uh, dad filled in that piece of sheeting over there. Um, once we go around to that side, we'll fill that strip in at the top um and then from there yeah put more windows in you'll be good to go so i just thought i'd give you an update um i don't know i might film a little bit tomorrow like i said family's coming tomorrow that's about it for now so once we get going again i will come back and give you some more updates and we'll go from there okay guys just a quick update here remove the scaffolds around to this side We've got the bottom row sheeted didn't get much done yesterday with Thanksgiving, but dad's going on the, the shingles here. There should be a truck showing up with my roof ra or um, ceiling rafters and the extra sheets that I ordered uh, and a bag of insulation. Picked up another one. Anyways, I uh, haven't gotten too far on here, but today is going to go pretty quick. It's supposed to be nice out. So that's what dad's working on right now. Uh, we'll get this window. I don't know if you can see it. We'll get that window there wrapped up so that we can put that window in go inside here and i'll show you what's going on i just damn near fell off the fucking roof i stepped on a piece of sheeting which was on top of the air hose and huh no one of the small ones it was just a short white short narrow piece so that went down the roof. At least I didn't. Holy shit. You gotta be careful. <laughs> Anyways. As I was saying. Move this. This beam's gonna come out. Because we don't really need it. This one is uh, basically the top of the wall now. And there's gonna be a light hanging from there. All of this is gonna get framed in. All the way across. And back up. This piece here will come out because it's just sitting there, not doing anything. So anyways, that's where that is. Now my leg hurts because it twisted pretty good, but I stayed up on the roof. 
Anyways, we got a bunch of wiring done. Right here, this is the wire for the light. And then it drops down through the roof there. One over there. I'll show you the wiring once I get down off of here safely. You never know what's going to be ha what's going to happen when you're working construction. Always watch what you're doing. Be safe as possible. But anyways, so showed you last time. Got the panel in here, and we just keep adding circuits to it. Anyways, got the plug there and plug there for temporary power. Uh, we got this wire that runs up. And that's the one that goes up there and back down. There's a uh, four-way switch here, three-way over there, and a three-way right here. We'll patch that up. That wire goes up and around. But yeah, we're getting all electrical done. We got uh, outside plug done up. And that just goes up because I picked up staples today to staple all the wires down. Uh, we got the outside plug, three-way plug for that hanging light that will be there. Drilling holes like crazy all over the place. And of course, uh, spools of wire. We got those plugs done up. We still got to run more wires all the way through. So we're going to pick up this switch and then start doing plugs in that room. Uh, those holes are all drilled. So yeah, we got a bunch of stuff here. Got this window in. That window's almost completely framed in. I got to finish it because family showed up yesterday so we kind of just stopped and then that window i'll do the sheeting on the top and across there uh wrap that one like the rest of them and we can put that window in right there and uh i think that's about it for now like i said picked up a bunch more stuff so we can continue on and uh well i'll have to uh get some more done here and uh i'll come back and give you another update see you in a few hey guys well, the sun's starting to go down. It's still a little bit of daylight out there. But as you can see, I need a light on in here. And here's kind of why. I got that framed in. Sorry if I'm repeating some stuff. We've been so busy. I haven't even been checking the video to see what I've got. I don't even know how long this video is going to be. That's how much work we've been doing. So anyways, window is framed in, ready to go. I got a couple pieces of sheeting to put up. That one's still ready, but as you can see, there is no more daylight coming through this roof. Now, the rest of that's framed in. I'll show you that in a second when I get up there. Okay, guys, up here on the roof, I got that piece cut. That's going to go in that spot there. I got a little piece there, a little piece there to cut. Small piece there and a small piece there to cut. And that's done. Then, of course, the fascia board, like I said earlier. Then a chunk of flashing, which is downstairs. It's good to go. But we haven't got to this yet because it's started to rain. It's supposed to rain tonight and tomorrow, so we won't do this. But the big thing is we got this done today. All the way. So... The whole addition is sheeted, shingled, and is closed in as far as we're going to do tonight. Um, we may throw in one window, maybe two. I'm going to bring over the door, and we're going to make up the uh, door jam for it and put that in. I've got uh, that piece of fascia cut. We just got to trim a couple tails. As you can see, they're hanging down below the fascia board, so I'm going to trim off a couple tails. And that's done. There's the piece that's going to go in. So, lots has been happening like crazy around here. And of course, there's the doorway over there. I got to bring that door over here. That's going to be my outside door. Now, hopefully, Thursday, Friday here somewhere, we'll uh, bring up the last of the shingles. And just so you can see, those two piles of shingles that were there are gone. So all we got left to do is the ridge cap. It's sitting on the back tailgate of my truck. So we'll probably do that Thursday, Friday. Those last little bit of shingles right beside the stairs there are going to be for this. This little section here. Other than that, we're pretty much done up here. Thursday, Friday, this here will be done. And we'll be completely done. Now we're going to take 
all the siding that we took off the side of the house, we're going to put it on the front of this, on this gable, and that'll blend it in with the house already. The rest of the addition will be the waddle and daub style, like I said it's going to be. Now, I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but I did move that beam, and Dad's out here already. Dad's hurting. I'm going to see if I can get him to uh, stop for the night. If it's going to rain tomorrow, we can work in here without getting dripped on. I think it's time just to relax for a night. But if he insists on going on, we'll probably be doing a bunch more wiring. So I'm going to check to see how much video I have, and that might be in the next video. Alrighty then. Okay, guys. Well, that's going to be it for this video. Make sure you stay tuned. We got stuff done going on, you know, wires and this and that. So make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you can get notified when I post videos. If you have any comments, leave them down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say or any questions you may have. Also, make sure to check me out on Instagram and Facebook. Links are all down in the description. For all the help my dad's been giving me, make sure you uh, check out the link in the description for his Facebook page. For all the different stuff that he does, show him some love, guys. So until then, later.